Hi there, it's Thursday the 22nd of July 2021. We're continuing this month to focus on the one another scriptures in the New Testament, calling us to love one another, to accept one another, to encourage one another and so on. And in particular this week we're looking at encouraging one another and asking the question, what are we to encourage each other to do? Looking at Jesus as the example of how he encouraged his disciples. And so far we've learned that Jesus encouraged his disciples to believe and we can encourage each other not to doubt but to believe and if we see each other each other slipping into doubt and unbelief we can encourage and exhort and build up one another in that way secondly we saw that Jesus encouraged his disciples to rest when he saw them getting overworked too busy stressed out and we can encourage each other when we see each other becoming stressed out overworked over busy we can encourage each other to rest, to take some time out, maybe go for a coffee, go for a walk. And the third thing we're going to look at is that Jesus encouraged his disciples to think. To think. Mark 6, verse 35 to 37. A big crowd had gathered around Jesus and by this time it was late in the day so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it's already very late. Send the people away so that they can go to the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But Jesus answered, you give them something to eat. And they said to him, that would take eight months of a man's wages. Are we to go and spend that much in bread and give it to them to eat? Jesus was encouraging his disciples when he said to them, you give them something to eat. He was calling them to think. And encouragement means to come alongside and to speak to people, to call people to the right kind of behaviour and to the right kind of thinking. And it's quite often the case that we don't think in the right way. And when we see each other thinking wrongly and that thinking perhaps being detrimental to us or detrimental to others, if we love each other, if we want to encourage each other, then really we need to try and come alongside each other and try and speak to each other and help each other maybe to think differently about a situation, to think differently about a problem. And if we have got the humility, we will listen to those brothers and sisters who come alongside us to help us to think differently. And we will expand our mind and we will look at things in a different way. And that's what Jesus was doing in this situation. He's saying to his disciples, look, stop just looking on the problem in, in, in the way that you would normally think. People are hungry. They need food. We need to buy food. We don't have enough money. Are we really going to buy all these people food? Jesus is saying, no, no. Think about the problem in a different way. In a very different way. And of course, we know what happened. Jesus took the loaves and the fishes, five loaves, two fishes of a little boy, and he did a creative miracle and he did something amazing and he fed all those people in a very different way. And if we will think differently about problems and situations in our life, then maybe, just maybe, Jesus might do something miraculous and might solve that problem in a very different way. But let's encourage each other to think and to think differently, to think like Jesus. Speak to you again tomorrow.